These are the top 15 Pro Tool shortcuts that I use every single session. So as I was trying to find this Pro Tool shortcut guide, just got like a condensed version, I could not find one, which is exactly why I've created this video because I'm pretty sure there's other people like me that may just be overwhelmed with, you know, 200 plus Pro Tool shortcuts. So what we've done is we've condensed all of those hundreds of Pro Tool shortcuts down into a nice condensed video. And not only that, since I am personally a visual learner, I've also created a free supplemental PDF guide, totally free to you if you just click the link down in the description. And it's gonna give you quick and easy access as you're starting to kind of implement this into your own personal workflow. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into the meat of the video. Let's check it out. For the sake of this video, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to go ahead and create a brand new session. And that leads us right into shortcut number one, which is going to be create a new session. And that shortcut is going to be command N if you're on Mac or control N if you're on Windows. For the sake of the video, for everything to make sense, for everything to flow effectively, we're just gonna start, and we're not even gonna start from a template. So we've got everything selected that we need. We're going to dive into how to import your session data and your templates and stuff like that a little bit later using a shortcut. But typically one of the first things that I'm going to be doing within my sessions is I've got to import my client's beat or instrumental. You know, we could go up here and waste all this time of import audio, but we want to be ninjas. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is we need to use our import audio shortcut. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Shift, Command, I, or if you're on Windows, Shift, Control, I, and that's going to allow you to import your beat. And as you can see, we have our beat imported. The thing about MP3 beats is there's actually a bit of dead space, of empty space at the beginning of your beat. What I do every single session is I've got to zoom into this beat to see, you know, if there's any dead space that I need to cut out. How you're going to do that is by utilizing shortcut number three, which is going to be our zoom in and out shortcut. You'll utilize a zoom in and out control all the time throughout your sessions. And how you do that is going to be R and T. T is going to be used for zooming in and R is going to be utilized for zooming out. So we see that here's the dead space, right? We're in grid mode, which I'm 100% of the time utilizing grid mode. You actually can't go in here and click right here to trim that off, which leads us right into shortcut number four, which is going to be the separated selected clip. And uh, basically what you're going to do here is whenever you're in grid mode, kind of a bonus here, if you tap command and then click, that's going to take you off the grid mode. So you can click anywhere. But the shortcut that we need right here is we need to trim this beat right here, which is going to be Command E or Control E if you're using Windows. And we just cut that beat. So we're going to delete this because that's the dead space that we don't need. And now we're going to pull that thing back. So now that we have created our new session, we've imported our beat, we've zoomed in, we've got the shortcuts to zoom in. We know how to take our cursor off the grid mode and click wherever we would like, even being in grid mode. We've trimmed off the dead space. More than likely what you got to do next is you've got to add some new tracks. That's going to be shortcut number five, the add new track shortcut that's going to be shift command n if you're using a mac shift control n if you're using a windows and that's going to allow you to create your new track for the sake of this video like i said a little bit earlier we're actually not going to be utilizing any new tracks because we are going to import some session data which is going to be our next shortcut the import session data shortcut. So basically what we have is we are going to be importing one of my personal recording templates. And the one that we're gonna be importing today is going to be the Record Radio Ready Vocals template, which is a stock Pro Tools plugin template. And the shortcut there is going to be Shift Option I, or if you're on Windows, that will be Shift Alt I. What the difference is between importing our audio or our beat, which is uh, shortcut number two, is this is going to be actually importing like template data. So I will go ahead and import all of my material here. 
Bam. Bada bop boom. So now that we have our session data imported, AKA our recording template, let's go ahead and dive into some routing shortcuts. Because if you've just picked up, say you've just purchased a recording template, what you need to do now is you're going to need to update your inputs and outputs. And our seventh shortcut of the video, selecting multiple tracks. So say your artist is going to be actually starting with a verse instead of a hook. Well, you don't want to have to drag all of these individually down, right? Come on, man, that's on, you taking man. way too much time. So we're gonna go here and then we're gonna hold down shift and we are going to click where you know our desired audio tracks and as you can see now we've highlighted all of these audio tracks and can quickly drag these down and say oh man actually i'm starting with the hook not a verse oh that's easy shift hold down shift uh click pull these bad boys right back up and you're going to utilize this shortcut whenever you're you know updating your ios and stuff like that too but let's say we want to only select certain audio tracks so like instead of having to select all these Let's say we just wanted to select the hook recording, the hook left, and the hook ad libs. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold down command, and now we're going to select our desired tracks that we need to make some adjustments to. And if you want to deselect them, just still hold down command. So let's go ahead and make use of these shortcuts that we just learned about here, how I use them within my sessions. Let's say you just downloaded, you went down in the description, you just downloaded my Record Radio Ready Vocals Pro Tools template. You just got access to that training. And whenever you go to record, you try to record, but you can't because we don't have things routed according to your setup, right? Because you see no input. So what we need to do, we need to select all of these audio tracks, right? Because they all have no input and we need to change multiple inputs at once. So let's use our shortcut that we just learned. We wanna click here. We wanna make all of our audio tracks. We wanna get our input to analog one because that's where our mic is plugged into. We're gonna hold down shift, click down here and shortcut number nine. This is going to be how to change multiple inputs and outputs at once. So what we're gonna do is we are going to hold down shift and we're going to hold down option or alt if you're on windows and we're going to select our desired input analog one you just trimmed off tons of time if you are trying to update these inputs and outputs one by one so now that we've got this far you don't want to be this far without saving your sessions so the shortcut to save your sessions you don't want to come up here and do this. Come, Come on, man. On, the man. save shortcut is going to be Command S. If you're on Mac, Control S if you're on Windows. That way, if Pro Tools crashes, which, you know, can happen, has happened to me uh, a few times, make it a habit of saving your sessions. Command S or Control S if you're on Windows, save that session. So we are 10 Pro Tools shortcuts in. But just real quick, want to take a quick moment before you dive into the final five, which is actually pretty important this is going to be how you record your record yourself i want to be sure that you get access to the free supplemental pdf guide it's going to include all of these shortcuts that we are talking about right now along with some extra bonus shortcuts in there as well that way you're not having to scan through 200 250 plus pro tool shortcuts and just feel overwhelmed these are my favorite pro tool shortcuts and with me being a visual learner i just feel like this PDF guide is going to help 100% free. Click that link down in the description uh, to get your access if you have not yet. So shortcut number 11. This is going to speed up your process. This is one of probably one of the most important shortcuts that you can utilize to really speed up your, your workflow. So more than likely, uh, you've got the normal uh, recording mode selected up here to really maximize this recording technique. You want to go ahead and select quick punch. Now, before I knew this shortcut, what I had to do is I had to record and to start recording again. You had to go up here, record. Come on, man. You cannot. Way too much time. What you need to do is you need a shortcut. So shortcut number 11 is going to be the punch in recording shortcut. And how you're going to do this, and this is going to be Mac or Windows, is you're going to hold down your FN key and you're going to tap F12. Bam, you're recording. Ridiculously fast. That is a huge difference than coming up here, dragging, coming up here, 
drag it. Come on. We ain't got time for that. Punch in recording shortcut. FN, F12, you're recording. Shortcut number 12. So let's say for whatever reason, you don't like this lo-fi plugin that I've got on this template. You could go over here and you could right click and bypass. Doesn't take too, too long, right? Or you could go over here, command click, control click if you're on Windows, bam. Bypass the plugins. What would kind of add up, you know, if you're having to go over here and buy, buy, you know, right click all of these, come on, save yourself some time. Command click, it's bypassing your plugins. So I predominantly record a lot of hip hop, R&B, and pop vocals. So a lot of times it's, you know, a hook, some hook vocals, some hook stacks, and some ad libs, verse vocals, um, maybe some ins and outs and ad libs. And more often than not, uh, the hooks are going to be copied and pasted. So one of the things you're gonna have to do whenever you're copy and paste your hooks is you need to know the copy and paste shortcuts. Say this is gonna be our hook. Um, so let's say, let's just put it right here. Our second hook is going to come in right about here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go down here and we need to uh, select our clip. So the shortcut number 13 is going to be copy, which is going to be C. And we want to paste that hook down here, which is going to be V, which will be shortcut number 14. So 13 and 14 kind of go hand in hand, copy and paste. And I utilize that literally every single session. So now say we've got a complete track pulled up here and uh, this thing's ready to go. That's going to lead us into shortcut number 15, which is going to be, you know, you could go up here and export your file like this, or you can use the handy dandy shortcut, shortcut number 15, the bounce to disc shortcut and this is how you will start to export your songs so the bounce to disc shortcut is going to be command option b if you're on mac or control alt b if you're on windows and that pulls up your bounce mix window to where now you can export your brand new song so before we wrap up the video, I got to recommend at least one more time. I'm personally a visual learner. I like to see things as I learn things. I don't know, that's just how my brain works. If you are the same way and you would like just a physical printout, a physical PDF guide, of all these shortcuts and more, definitely be sure to check out the link in the description. It's a completely 100% free download. And whenever you go and get that, I would recommend just go ahead and start incorporating it into your workflow as much as possible. And try to do it without looking, you know, look from time to time as you're just kind of getting your feet wet. But, you know, attempt to kind of start using these Pro Tool shortcuts, try to start to embed them in your DNA. That way you can go ahead and start maneuvering Pro Tools like a ninja. But hey, if this video has been valuable to you, be sure to like, like this video, subscribe to catch even more juice, catch even more tips, tricks, trainings, hacks, all of that good stuff. You know we're coming with it. And if you hated this video, man, just go ahead and smash that dislike button and tell your mom to stop calling me because I'm married and my wife does not appreciate those phone calls. But that wraps up this video. I'm sure I'll catch you soon. And until that time comes, I'm getting out of here.